Alright, so what I want to look at in this lesson are the more advanced features of our blend shape deformer window. Okay, so the first thing that I want to talk about is the in-between option. And what this lets you do is morph between a selection of shapes and it can be very useful for things such as blinks and for very specific kinds of animation. Okay, so for example we could create a few shapes for a character's eye blink and it will create a far nicer arc for the animation. We can also use it to create inanimate objects such as flags blowing and specific animations for a character's mouth. All right. And to show you an example of this, if I go ahead and select all of my shapes and my base mesh, and then go up to my Create Deformers, Blend Shape Window, reset the settings, make sure that I have in-between ticked, and just hit Create. That's going to create a new slider for us. And if I zoom into the base mesh here, and scroll the slider from 0 to 1, you can see all the shapes blending between one another and you can see that we can create an almost chewing animation from the shapes that we've got there. This is what I mean by it being very useful because it saves a lot of time if you know exactly what it is you need your character to do in terms of facial animation. Now we're going to be looking at a more complex practical example of that in our last lesson but for now I'm going to go ahead and delete this blend shape and we're now going to look at the deformation order of our blend shapes okay. So if I go up to create deformers and into the blend shape window reset my settings again and jump across to the advanced tab you'll notice that the deformation order at the top here is defaulted at front of chain and what this does is it takes all the information contained within our blend shapes and makes sure that it gets put before the information for for example say a rigged character and that just ensures that we don't get any double transformations or weird unstable artifacts from our blend shapes all right and 99 percent of the time you're going to be wanting to use front of chain. Now in the event that you need to use one of the other options we have default before and after and they're practically the same as front of chain okay so we're not going to look too much into those. The ones you need to be wary of are split and parallel. What parallel is useful for is if you have to do what is called a corrective blend shape okay as it allows you to create a blend shape on top of a deformation okay that's already happening and it just means that you can fix areas on a character's rig such as thinning around a shoulder or an elbow joint and what split does is when we apply our blend shapes it actually creates a copy of the base mesh okay and it just it basically serves as a backup so I'm going to leave that at front of chain for the time being and just close that down so there we go so that's a, a brief explanation of the advanced features of our blend shape window and as I said earlier in the next lesson we're going to be taking our in-between blend shapes a little step further.